Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the ruler, the ellipse, and the French curve tool. When I click on the ruler, you'll notice that this appears. This is our ruler. We can use this button here to move our ruler anywhere on the page. We can then use either one of these two toggles to then change the angle on our page. Then you just need to make sure you've got some sort of writing tool or a pen or a paintbrush. And then you can just draw along that line any direction you want. Once you're finished using that tool, you can then press the X. For the ellipse tool, you'll notice that this appears. The same, as the, uh, the same on this, this tool in the middle, you can move it anywhere on the page. You can use the little square inside the big square icon to enlarge this. And then the two little triangles will allow you to reshape it. The little curved arrow will allow you to rotate this anywhere on your screen. And then you can use your paintbrush again to go around it. And when you're finished using it, press the X. The French curve tool is really good. The same applies. The little icon in the middle allows you to move it anywhere on your page. The little square inside the big square allows you to resize it. And the curved arrow allows you to rotate it 360 degrees. Now, the two different things that this tool allows you to do is that you can flip the ruler, but it'll only allow you to flip one direction. And then again, you use your brush to go around that shape. The really cool thing about this is that you've got three different French tools. So this button at the top here, when you click on that, it will change to a different French curve and there's three of them all up. Now you don't have to go around the entire curve with this tool. You can choose just to use one part of it. For example, if I use this tool and then I flip it and then rotate it, you can see that I can easily then draw a shape that I want. And there you go, that's those three tools. Have a great time guys.